introduce myself as Cody Fisher aka Lyrical Lord. I am a rapper, I am a singer, I am an entertainer, I am a performer, and I'm just an all-around well-known musical artist. Today I would like to show everybody that's watching how to set up a home recording studio. As you can tell, um, I'm going to show you how you can set up a home recording studio so you won't have to go to the professional recording studios, even though that is the best solution, obviously. But we're going to talk about the different beats that we have. We're going to talk about the style of equipment that we have, what we use, um, what's supposed to be here, what's not supposed to be here. So get ready. Let's go. So first, I'm going to get into talking about the speakers that I use for my recording process. Um, these are called the Samson Resolve A5 Active Studio Monitors. What a studio monitor is, it's a speaker, of course, just like this, except with a regular speaker that you buy just from somewhere locally, you don't get the pure quality and sound that you would get from these. These right here are one of the most amazing sound speakers I've ever heard in my whole entire life. They produce so so much bass, they produce so so much treble. It is just, it's so great to have these because these are helping me out so much. You can buy these from like a musician's workshop or a music city or any music store that's around or near you. You can also buy them off the internet, maybe even cheaper. When you want to record, you want to definitely get these because if you record with regular speakers, of course, sure, you're going to get good music. But if you have something like this, then you are going to get the music and the sound that comes out of the actual recording studio instead of just off of a laptop, you know what I'm saying? So... I paid 250 for both of these, so they're not too expensive, but you gotta save up a little bit if you want to get them. Um, if you can see, that's the name of it, Resolve A5 Active Studio Monitor. And this is what pumps out all the music. That's what pumps out a little bit of the treble and more. Samson, my microphone brand also. So like I said before, these active studio monitors are the best way to go. Um, they're not too expensive. They are most definitely worth it. 100% worth it to get these. Um, they do make better ones than these, but these are the best. I wouldn't want any different. I'm glad that I have these, and now let's move on to the next step. The next step that we have is the mixer, which is by far my most favorite piece of equipment that... I've ever owned in my life that has anything to do with music. This is the first piece of equipment that I owned. Um, it has made me become who I am today. It has showed me the ways of loving music and having a passion for music. Um, my brother gave it to me. I love him very, very much for that. Um, I appreciate it so much. He's a musician also, and I'm guessing that he saw that I had something inside myself that wanted to be a musician as well. So he let me have this, and I'm very grateful because this is the best piece of equipment that I've ever held that has helped me throughout my whole entire life and is going to help me throughout my whole entire career. This right here, this is getting into the extreme music recording. This is the B-Ringer Eurorack UB1832FX Pro. This mixer is very, very powerful. It has 14 channels. It is a 24-bit multi-effects processor, which is very, very cool and interesting to me. Um, this is the channel that I use the most right here, channel 1. All of these are the effects. Um, this is the volume button, the main volume button. Right here is the subwoofer button, um, the solo button. Up here, this big black spot is where you plug the microphone in. Right here is where you can plug cords in. Right here is the microphone volume control, and that is the mute button. 
Over here is the effects table. All these are different sound effects um, up here. These are the knobs where you can change the different sound effects. These are the sound effects listed up here. And people probably wonder too, like, why in the world would you need all of those channels for to mix with when you only have one person? Let me tell you, you need all of these buttons whenever you finally figure out how to record, like for real record, not just a beginner's record, you know what I mean? Whenever you figure out how to professionally record, you'll understand. For the next step, we have the Korg Pad Control MIDI Studio Controller Beat Pad slash Beat Maker. This is another one of those you have to have to be a professional if you want to make good music. Um, this is what makes all the beats. I don't have it hooked up, um, but simple. You just uh, all over. You know, you have like a drum right here, and then you have a guitar sound right here, and then you can also put like, if you say my voice in here, you could be like, uh, 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 and just. Like that, simply. Over here is a little pad where you can make it just um, kind of auto tune it a little bit, pitch it. Um, you have the repeat button, you have the volume button. Um, everything's good with this. The, it's simple, you know. It's very simple. You don't have to do much but plug it in and open up your software program and you have it which I use GarageBand, which all you have to do is plug it in and you can just automatically make the sounds because they're already loaded. But this is a good product to have um, if you want to be a beat maker and you want to do all of your material your own way and create it as just slow and easy and just make it so good. It'll sound so perfect in the end that you'll be like, wow, I made this. I ordered this off the internet. Um, you can probably most likely buy them at your local music shops. I don't know. Musicians Workshop is what we have where I live at and they have everything. Um, this ranged me from I believe $200 somewhere around there. It's not too expensive but if you want to get good quality perfection music you're gonna have to pay a little bit. I mean what else can you do? This right here is my mixer interface, Yamaha USB Audio Interface Audiogram 6, that's the brand name, Audiogram. This right here, it's hard for me to describe, I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm not a full professional, so I don't really know how to describe this yet. What this does is makes these studio monitors and this mixer blend together and work. Like if you didn't have this and you couldn't hook the studio monitors up to the mixer and make them come out of the computer's playback sound without having this. This is what, it's like the USB connector. This is what is in the middle of the mixer and the studio monitors and the computer. Having this makes everything you can change any kind of level that you want almost to make your voice and the beat sound perfect um you can just make good music with this and it's hard for me to describe once again but it's such a good product i got this at about 125 dollars i believe at my local music's musicians workshop it's good um i would suggest getting one if you of course again want to do the professional studio time you can plug in your microphone right here or if you have like an electric guitar or a keyboard or something, you can plug that in to make it work. The mixer cords go right here in this spot, left and right. Um, the studio monitor speakers cords go right here. The headphones go right here. The volume controls, the levels, the gain, the voice level, um, the peaks, signals. It has phantom power also. You can't have phantom power. That's another thing with the mixer. Um, that's hard for me to describe as well, but phantom power is what makes the mixers and all the powerful equipment actually work. So I would suggest getting one of these. It's a good product. Um, it's helped me out. Now this right here, this thing right here, is the best. Besides this mixer, it is the best thing I have ever worked with. It is the best thing that I have ever used. It is just one of the greatest, powerfulest, most awesomest, most craziest computers I've ever been on in my whole entire life. This is the Apple iMac 2010-2011 version, I'm not sure what it's called. 
I can do so much stuff with my music. I can do so much stuff with my videos. I can do so much stuff with the internet, my homework, my school. I can do so much stuff with everything. It's perfect. It's a perfect most best thing to have in a recording studio if you want to do it 100% professional. Um, PCs work just as good, of course. I have a PC also, which I still use as much. But this Apple is the... It has changed my life when it comes to music. I can plug up every single piece of equipment that I have to this one computer and use it all. And get this, it don't have nothing else but this. It doesn't come with a big huge tower desktop. The monitor itself is the computer. The computer is inside of this. So overall, it is one of the best products I've ever used in my life besides this mixer. Um, these two products are the things that are some of the most important things in my life. And I will cherish them until I die. And just, you'll watch me in the future and hear me in the future record some of the best music on this computer. And I will have this computer for the rest of my life because I know that it's going to get me famous. And I know that if I keep working and keep working each and every single day that I'm going to get somewhere. And I know that for a fact. So as long as I have this equipment to use and as long as I know that I can be as professional as I want to be and I can be, then I will be good. Next step. This piece of equipment right here is one of the best things to have if you want to make beats. It's one of the best things to have if you want to start producing music. Any range of top of music. It has all kinds of effects. It's awesome. It is the M Audio Key Studio. Avix. A-V-I-X Key Studio. Um, this is the box. It also comes with Pro Tools, which is a software. Um, I don't use that. I probably will once I start using this. I haven't played it once yet, even though I got it already. Um, but at least I have it. It's a USB plug-up. It's a MIDI plug-up also. Um, you can change the quality of the sound in it. You can synthesize it. You can octave it. Um, it has an edit mode, it has all the keys of a regular piano, and also it has keys of beats, it has keys of guitar. Pretty much the same thing as a drum pad, except it's more original and more creative. Like, you can keep a better tone of the beat whenever you're using this instead of the beat pad. To be in a studio in my house and to build a home recording studio, you have to have products like these. This is a good one, um, M Audio Avix Key Studio with Pro Tools included again. Go get it. Okay, so now that I've showed you guys all of my musical equipment, let's go into the mock room slash sound booth slash sound room slash recording studio slash vocal booth to see my microphone, see my headphones, see the foam that I have, and see everything that's good and see one of my most favorite rooms in my house. Let's go. So now we are inside the vocal booth slash sound room slash sound booth. This is where all the magic takes place. This is where the most important, most best words come from artists. This is the place where somebody can come in here, shut the door, whether they have lyrics on the wall or not, whether it's coming from their head. They can express themselves and they can do it in such a way that it is so personal and so good and so deep hearted that you just have to be like, uh. You know, I have such a passion for this. I love it to death. Music is one of the best things in the world, and people need to keep letting it revolve around and around so that we'll continue to have it forever because doing this lets off so much stress. It lets off so much steam. It makes you feel so good about yourself. It makes you feel good to know that you can have something that is going to be the best quality, the best ever because you know you can take as much time as you want to in a home recording studio that is if you're going in a professional recording studio you have to pay fifty dollars an hour to be there which is bogus really right here I have the microphone um this is what you record the vocals in of course this is a Samson 150 studio consender mic um, it ranges from like 200 to 300 for this top anyway. I think I pay like 250. I've had it for so long, like five years. Um, they have 
very, very many different cottons from black to silver to gold, um, little, big, all different shapes and sizes. Some are good quality, some are excellent quality, some are outstanding quality. This is excellent quality. Um, it's not outstanding because I could have better, of course, but since I have had it for so long, you know, I've gotten attached to it so much I couldn't never get rid of it no matter what somebody paid me because it's been with me ever since I started recording and I'm going to keep it as long as I can. This piece right here is the filter. This is what blocks off all the spit. This is what blocks off all of the echo and the reverb noise in the back. You know it makes it pure quality music once you're right in front of it. Um, it filters out all the bad sounds and makes everything good. These are the Sony Dynamic Stereo Headphones MDR slash V150. These are studio based headphones. They are really good. They might be small, but you know sometimes it's better to have stuff like this because, you know, first of all, it fits perfect, of course. And whenever you're doing it, you can just feel it in your ears whenever you're recording. You can feel the bass, you can feel the pressure of the music just energizing your whole entire body and it's awesome. So these are good to record with. Um, you can get big ones too, it doesn't really matter. I mean, headphones, headphones, but when it comes to home recording studios and having the best production, having the best work, I would suggest something that has to do with actual studio equipment instead of just a basic brand of some kind of product, you know. So that's it for that. Um, the last thing I have in here, of course, is the foam. You can get this at Walmart. That's where I got mine from. Um, you can buy studio equipment foam, which is going to be so, 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 extremely so, so much money. So I would go with this. Um, I've probably paid almost $100, and I have this whole entire room filled up with foam. So it's really good. I'm white. You know, it turns a little yellow after it stays a while, but... You know, so what? It's really good. Um, I'm really enclosed right now. My voice is so inside this room and nowhere else. You know, it's not echoing at all. So it's really good to have foam if you want to record professionally in a home recording studio or professional recording studio. Simply because you don't want your voice to have echo in it. That's where the filter works as well. But you want your voice to be as enclosed as you can and make it to where everything sounds to perfection. I mean, it has to be to perfection no matter what. So that's my booth. That's everything that you need to record with. Um, let's go out for the final touches. So that was the steps on how to build a recording studio. All you need is computer, speakers, mixer, interface, vocal booth, microphone room, foam to make it soundproof, which is one of the most important parts. Um, and that's basically it, you know, just a good setup. All you have to do is record the song, edit it, master it, and it's pretty much done. Or that's how I do mine anyway. I know these steps and I know all these buttons pretty well by now. It's been like five years. So, everybody, get at me. I am Cody Fisher, a.k.a. Lyrical Lord. I appreciate your time watching this video, and I hope everybody learns how to build a home recording studio. And if you do, use it to perfection. Make the best music, and I promise you will never get let down. Thanks. Peace out.